Hi everyone, I'm Kate Swanson with Art Impression Stamps, and today I'm gonna share with you some new flip cards. This is an easy, simple, interactive card making element that is sure to wow anyone who's receiving a beautiful card from you. So today we're gonna start off with our little sloth set. This one's so cute, it says thank you. You flip it up and the sign comes down furry much, and it's got these cute little sloths in it, so you can see the front as well as the back. This one's so simple, you will need our flip card die to create this mechanism. It'll emboss the edges as, so that you get a score, as well as cut around the top. So I just prepared a five and a half by six and a half sheet of paper. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna line this up with my lining tool, and we are just gonna line this up on both sides at three and a quarter. This is gonna give us a perfectly A2 card with that extra kind of one inch flip piece that goes at the top. I'm gonna just take some of my post-it tape and be able to adhere this down. Then we're able to run this through our die cut machine and get a perfect flip card piece. Now we simply die cut this piece through any of your die cut machines. So I'm just gonna use our, my Gemini Junior and I'm gonna run this through my machine. The piece just easily die cuts on that top and creates an embossing line on your edges so that we can fold on those scored embossed lines and create our flip card. So once you've built your card base, we're going to just get started on our stamping. So today I'm going to be using this really cute sloth flip card stamp set. It'll say thank you very much. We also have some guineas. We have happy day, it's guinea be great. Time to celebrate, go hog wild with our warthog set, as well as our cute octopus. It's your birthday, seize the day. So pick your favorite one of these sets and I'm gonna get started stamping my sentiment and my front image. So I'm going to place my thank you into the very center of my flip card panel. And I'm gonna align my clear stamp so that it looks like the little hands of my sloths are right along that top line, almost aligning with the embossed edge. I'm gonna place my magnet so my card holds just fine. And we will ink up the stamp. So once we've got our front stamped, we just simply swip, swap out our images so that we can do the inside. So you're gonna flip it over. You have your front, and you're gonna flip it over to the inside so that your sentiment is here and your little sloths, the back side of them, are lining up below. So I'm gonna remove my stamp. We're gonna line up that second sentiment on the inside and then we simply Meet that edge that you can easily align since you can see through your clear stamp. Perfect. All right, so now that I've got my main image stamped, I can start coloring and put it, assembling my card. So we've got our really cute, thank you very much. I went ahead and just colored up my little sloths with some colored pencils because I thought it was really cute, made them look really furry on the front and the inside. And so I've got that all prepped. To be able to create a A2 card still and create this really cool patterned effect around the edges, I'm gonna cut a quarter inch off of each side so that I can get this cool mat. So once we have a quarter inch off of each side of the card, to be able to make sure that my flip card will move openly in the background, I'm gonna take my same die and I'm gonna align it a quarter of an inch lower and die cut that top piece out. So I'm adding my flip card die back onto this beautiful piece of cardstock. This cardstock line comes from Echo Park. It's their beautiful happy birthday collection. I love the bright, beautiful colors in this and this really fun pattern paper. 
So now that I ran this die cut piece through my Gemini machine, it'll still have that embossed line, but I'm not gonna cut around it. I'm gonna grab my scissors and just cut two little slits so that I can create this open section. I'm gonna use my tonic scissors and just create two little snips down straight to those lines. Then I can easily add this to the background of my stamped image. Just line it up with those quarter sections, just a quarter inch lower, and glue this on. I'm gonna use my scrapbook.com tape runner. Always great to have at hand. And be able to align this just perfectly. So that it flips just like so. To finish off the card, I cut a couple of cute little strips of paper so that it has a little place for my slots to land so they're not just floating off in white space. This is the opposite side of that same paper from the Happy Birthday collection from Echo Park. Another product I love from Echo Park are their really cute little enamel dots. They're great to add to any image. Add just a little bit of an accent piece down at the bottom with those same cute little peach colors from the paper. And there you are, such a fun surprise, a still a perfect A2 card so it's easy to mail. Thank you very much. And there are so many fun images for this fun new interactive flip card collection. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is life handmade.